Hi, I'm John Mayfield, and I want to tell you how to create virtual tours for free. That's right, how you can create a virtual tour for free. Well, first you want to download Picasa software, and then you want to take photos from your existing camera, use your Picasa software. We're going to create those into a format that we like and add our voice, text, and any other extras, upload it to YouTube, and that's how easy it is. So let's take a look at how we do this step by step. First of all, go to Google and select more and then even more. Once you are at the Google even more website, scroll down and find the link for Picasa. This is a free software you can download from Google. Once you've downloaded it, installed it on your computer, you're then going to be able to open up the program and begin putting together your first virtual tour. So we'll open up Picasa. Once Picasa is open, look for the photo folder that you've assembled all of your virtual tour photos. Now I have a folder that I called virtual tours it has all of my photographs in there. In fact, you'll notice that I put two exterior photos of the front of the home and two what I call splash or credit pages. We'll talk about that more in a moment. So I just simply click the movie icon and you can see they put together a little credits page for me, but I'm going to delete that because we're going to create a better splash page or credits page. And notice that I can move any of the photographs around on the timeline. So I'm just going to put the exterior front view of the home at the front of the movie, as well as one of my credits pages. And then I'm going to put the other exterior photograph at the front of the home towards the end of the movie, right next to the final picture, which is my splash page, to tell people how to get a hold of me if they're interested in previewing my listing. So that's how easy it is to assemble your photographs down below. Now let's take a look at how you can even add text and other information to this virtual tour. So I'm just basically going to select a couple of photographs and I'm going to just put some title bars on there with some text about those particular photographs or about my virtual tour. Now I would not do this on every photo that's in your virtual tour, but it's kind of nice to add a couple of little comments to one or two or three of your photographs. Once we're finished with that, we can actually preview our movie and take a look at what the finished product looks like. So I'm pressing the play button. This is what the virtual tour would look like. It's basically taking my still photographs and creating those into a mini virtual tour that I can upload to YouTube. Now, a lot of times people ask me, John, how many uh, minutes or how long should my video virtual tour video be that uh, should be that I'm going to upload to YouTube and I usually recommend that you keep your videos somewhere in the two to three minute range I definitely wouldn't go any more than three minutes but you can see this is a quick easy efficient way to put together a virtual tour now we just simply select the YouTube button you will need a YouTube account and it's free I'll add the title description a few other details upload the video and within moments, my videos out on the World Wide Web. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do you create the splash page or the credits page? And I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint in this illustration to create my look and feel of the splash page. I'm going up to the File menu, Save As, and I've selected Other Format. Now. Pick the location you want to save your format or your, your uh, photo in and give it a name. But notice that the Save As type is defaulting to a PowerPoint presentation. We're just simply going to change that to an image format. You can use a GIF format, a TIFF, or a JPEG. I like to use JPEG. We'll save that. 
We'll save the current slide only. We only actually have one picture in that photograph or that folder. And so we've saved our JPEG photo. And now I just go back and repeat the process, file, save as, other format. And I will save the format again and just give it a different name like the ending splash page or the um, final pay, final photograph of the of the virtual tour and so we'll save that a second time so we have one for the beginning and one for the end again we just save the current slide only and now we have two really cool photographs that are credits or splash pages now I've got to tell you, you've got to check out the HP website because you will need a good computer to do some of this. You'll have so much fun that you want to check out all of the stuff that's going on at HP.com.